challenge for this video is you have to guess how many times we're gonna say so by the end of it, apparently. Hey. Oh, good morning, beautiful people of the world watching our YouTube channel. It is great to see you guys here today. We have a fun little project we're working on at this wonderful company called Perennial Gardens. So Perennial Gardens is a landscape company here in Ankeny that we work pretty close with. We got some good relationships here and we also have some features that are here. So let's uh, take a quick peek at what we got here. We got the boys going on some stuff. We got the maintenance man Russell out here making all of his stuff look pretty. Oh yeah, so we got our one pondless waterfall here at this place. And then as we walk up closer to the building, we also have an aquascape ecosystem with a biofall, a wetland filter, and our skimmer over there. So this is their pond they have at this place. They also have a pondless. So there are two of the three main types of features. And as we walk up to where Elias is standing right now, we will start to see the third feature that they have here. So this is the existing bubbling rock that is at this property. It has not ran in a long time. So it's time for a little bit of an upgrade. There's obviously nothing real wrong with this. We just have to get it going again if we want this working, but we're gonna do something a little bit different. This rock currently sits on a preformed basin that is only about three feet wide in each direction. And it doesn't do the best at catching any sort of splash from this rock. Oops, sorry, plant. So it's very easy for this to start running itself dry. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna get this pulled up and we are gonna install some aqua blocks and make a custom basin. So then we can make it a little bit bigger, make it catch more splash and make it a little bit more self-sustaining. So to do this, we are gonna pluck all these plants on this side, so those will be saved. The plants on the back side of the basin will be plucked and we can just trash those. We're gonna get this rock removed. We're gonna get the basin pulled out. We're gonna get a hole dug. We're gonna put our new basin block in there followed by a brand new stone that Jesse's on his way to pick up at Cleaner Image right now. And should be a pretty snazzy day. So yeah, that's what we're working on. Come with us as we install this bubbling rock. It's gonna be a pretty fun day, pretty smooth day. And yeah, let's go. got the old one torn out and we got our rough shape of where our new one's gonna go uh, right now Connor and Jesse are shooting our heights just so that we can get that basin nice and flat in there we're not mounding up we're not sinking down and we're getting it all perfect and flush so that the, the piece on top of it can sit flush too guys so we are going for three nine it's about perfect there that is perfect it's not about perfect it is perfect all righty so we got our hole dug we got everything leveled out and uh, so what our next step was, was to dry fit everything just to make sure our hole was good. We got the vault sunk down in there so it's not just sticking out above the aqua blocks like it was. And then our next step is we're gonna pull all this out. We're gonna lay our fabric down and then we're gonna lay liner on top of that. And then we're gonna lay another layer of fabric on top of that liner so that our sharp edges don't poke right through. And then after that, we're gonna lock everything in. And then uh, once everything's locked in, we're gonna go ahead and start rocking things. So, yep. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, guys. You're the best. You're better, dude. Bye-bye. <laughs> Prove it. All right, guys. Peace out, Russell. Um, 
here where we're at so we have our hole dug we have our blocks and our vault set in there to test fit it now we have to go about getting everything uh actually locked in and taken care of so first step is going to be getting this vault dug down a little bit deeper that is sitting very high up out of the ground right now and it's going to be impossible to hide like that plus we also need to make sure that foot on the bottom of it sits lower than the blocks so it's the low point in the basin so all water goes back to this point so we'll get that section dug down we'll get everything pulled back out lay our fabric down lay our liner down lay more fabric down put all this back in flop everything in and then we'll work on creating a bowl shape around our basin in order to catch all of our splash so we're gonna rip these out get that basin or get the vault dug down and then we'll keep going so we're having fun boys are relaxing we're getting there so let's go Alrighty guys, so we got our basin blocks in and everything. So now we are working on backfilling our basin. So to start off with this, we'll go through and we'll shave down the soil, get a little bit of soil put down and through here. So once we fill this up with dirt, we're gonna leave about two or three inches of that block exposed. So then when we fold all of our stuff back, our liner actually folds back below the top of the block. This is gonna prevent any sort of pinching between the top of the block and the liner. And to make sure it stays up like that, we'll be running gravel in between the block and the liner as we flop up and out creating our basin area through here so we're going to backfill this all around the edges we got our rocks put in around the vault to hold that in place and still allow plenty of water getting to it so we've got this side halfway backfilled that side halfway backfilled we will backfill these two sides and then that'll sort of lock the basin into place and then now that it's all locked into place we'll get everything really packed in so none of our so none of our blocks ever shift finish filling that up with gravel get our plumbing line in there ran out then we have our stone over there in the back of our trailer that we will get set, so. Word. Ooh. Blades are sharp, kids, be careful. All right guys, so we got our gravel backfilled and now the next step is to get a hole cut for our vault. So there is a hole on that side that is already pre-drilled, but we put that up against the blocks. So now we have to put a new hole in. So we got our hole set at the right height so that our pump and check valve line up very nicely with it. So once this is drilled out and cut out, the, check, the pump and check valve will get put in the basin. We'll run our plumbing line out and get it close to the spot where we want to put that fountain at. Then we'll set our base block for the fountain that's going to set on it. So then there's room for the plumbing line to come up and through. We will then set that down, run our plumbing line through it, cut that at the top, silicone it, slap it all down together, gravel and rock in this whole basin and make it so all this liner fabric and block disappear. And then we'll be pretty much done. So we're getting close, we're having fun doing it like we always do. So let's go. strapped up so the issue we are running to with this uh massive freaking boulder that's a tick get off my screen all right with this big tall rock the one issue you know we're running into right now is that that machine uh the excavator we're using today does not really have quite the lift capacity at that height plus the rock's also a bit tall so that machine also cannot move it the best so we are going to use the skid loader and that's going to let us pick it up a bit higher because it's got more lift to it and then we're going to take it over there, roughly set it, and then any fine adjustments will be done with the excavator. So we're going to throw some forks on. We got our straps all set up to hook our forks onto, and then we're going to lift this rock up, take it over there, and we'll set it in. We'll plumb it up, and then it should be good to go. And then as soon as that's done, you know, it's just a few boulders and some gravel work and some grade work, and we're all wrapped up. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you. 
That looked pretty snazzy, like I said before. Thank you, you beautiful people who tuned in to watch this wonderful video we made today. It was a blast putting this feet fountain in. It was uh, well overdue to get this switched out, but I think the final result came out pretty good. As you pull into this business, it is a great eye catcher. So let us know what you think down in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and click that little bell notification. Make sure you get updates every time we post new videos every Wednesday with Shorts Daily. We'll catch you next time. Yeah, it's pretty good. Gosh. Yeah, it's so tired this morning. It's so light, yeah. bro. Can build a He's got his new toy. <laughs>